This all new, gorgeous fifth wheel bunk house features five bunks, dual opposing slides in the main living area with power theater seats and an eight and a half foot kitchen countertop, plus a king bed, outside kitchen and three ACs. Folks, say hello to the all new East to West Ahara 378 BHOK. All right, so let's get right into it, folks. One of the things I love that Ahara currently has in their entire lineup of fifth wheels is this right here, the giant double door pantry. And why do I love it? Well, because it's a ton of storage space. I mean, obviously, look at this. You get huge storage on the left, and on the right, you get fully customizable, versatile storage space. Do you want uh, big pantry space? Yup, got plenty of shelves for it. Maybe you want a spot for brooms or Swiffer or you want to bring a vacuum, whatever it may be, great. Take a bunch of these bottom shelves out. Or myself personally, especially in a bunk model, I'm going to be using this as a coat closet. Come in, hang up your jackets right here. I'm going to take, I'll probably remove one of these shelves, put the other three down nice and low, and now I have a spot for my shoes as well. So I get a shoe rack, I get a coat closet, and I still have the big pantry. A lot of times you have to sacrifice your entire pantry in a versatile space like this. They give you the best of both worlds and I love it. Up top you get some really good uh, what I would personally use for board game storage. I'm a big board game guy when I camp. I love that I have space for it. Speaking of board games, take a look right over here folks. With this table, which you have plenty of space to fit four people, you have very directional lighting. I love that the lighting is coming straight down. A lot of times you get puck lights and it's just kind of everywhere. I like that it's, uh, again, just right down on the table. It's really nice for playing games. But I think the thing that takes the cake about the table for me that really impresses me is the ottoman right here. So you can actually undo this and this ottoman can be pulled out. It's a big storage space. Let me see if I can find, tell you what. Why talk about it when I can show you, right? So let me take this off. And that just Velcros right to the wall, but then this whole thing comes out. Boom, look at all that storage. Great for throws. I don't know about people watching this, but my wife is like always cold. It'll be like 100 degrees outside and she'll be inside with a throw blanket on. I need a spot to put them and that's exactly what I have right here. Ton of space. Another great spot for board games, just saying. Right there, and the cool thing about this, again, is you can move this wherever you want. If you wanna take this back in the bunk room because the kids have friends over, they wanna put their feet up, do it. I love the fact they included this in here, uh, especially in like the rear living floor plans because they currently have this in their whole fifth wheel lineup. It's so like the 325 and 365 RL. Really get a lot of use out of that ottoman. It's fantastic. Huge windows here on the slide as well, looking out to your campsite right where you want it. Roller shades on all of them, and all of the windows do open, including the ones on the side of the slide box. Speaking of slide box, a couple different things about it. One, it is nice and tall. You see, I'm six foot. I have plenty of room. And folks, this entire thing is laminated. The side walls are laminated. The roof is laminated. So if you want to walk, you know, or outside, let's say you have to clean the top of your slide off, you can actually get up there and walk on here because it's laminated. So uh, that's a pretty big deal. As always, if you're ever up on a roof or anything, make sure, you know, the weight limits are fine as well as make sure you're very careful because you'll be up high. You obviously don't want to fall and get hurt. Um, power theater seats. Love these too. Uh, they're great. It's, as you tend to get older, maybe you know you have bad knees. It can be hard to retract the, excuse me, the legs uh, once they're out. But with power, it's simply a touch of a button. The thing I really like about this though, is that you can get a solar package if you so choose. It gives you a 320 watt solar panel. Um, it gives you the MPPT controller, a 50 amp controller, and you get a 2000 watt inverter that inverts the majority of the outlets in this RV, uh, including these, this one right down here, meaning that your power chairs will still work if you get that option. So uh, that's something that's really cool. So you're not necessarily strapped to shore power. Let's, uh, let's kind of hit the rest of this main living area and then we'll go back in the bunk room. I know you're dying to see it. It's a really cool bunk room. I love that they finally have added one to the Ahara lineup. Um, but the kitchen island. So I really like the kitchen island in the Ahara too because not only do you have good space on both sides, but look how deep this island is. 
The reason they're able to do that is because they use a 101 inch wide body frame. So they're getting a few more inches and you know, sometimes a few inches make a huge difference and a kitchen island is one of those times. So you get all that extra space, solid surface I may add, great storage, you get the undermount sink because if you have solid surface, why wouldn't you undermount? One of my favorite things, spot for a trash can, love when there's a dedicated spot, big pots and pans storage all underneath and you get this eight and a half foot kitchen countertop right over here. So I love this. Even if, you know, am I gonna sit here and prep food above my fireplace? Probably not, I might, I have the ability to do it, but I might set up like a, a bar there. You know, I like a Bloody Mary bar. Maybe I'm gonna set one up for my friends when they come over. This allows me to do it. Uh, also, I like how open it is. More often than not, you get like this big kind of entertainment center area that boxes it off. I love how open. I love the fact that backsplash goes all the way up to the cabinets. You get windows, it makes it nice and bright. And uh, the TV isn't the focal point of this space. Now, if you wanna watch it, yeah, sure, absolutely. We'll hold this guy down and boom, there you go, 50 inch TV. So you do definitely have the capability to watch TV if you so choose, but I love that they're not forced, right? It's not necessarily built in. I love that big kitchen countertop you get. Uh, you'll see the speakers right down here so you have great sound as well as the big fireplace down underneath. That's a 5100 uh, BTU fireplace. And this one has a bigger furnace, folks. When you talk about being comfortable, the Ahara absolutely crushes it because you get that 5100 uh, BTU furnace, you get er, a fireplace, you get a 40,000 BTU furnace on here. Most of your premium fifth wheels are running 35K, having that 40K is huge. And on the opposite end of the spectrum, if you wanna stay nice and cool, you have three ACs standard. Most of your premium fifth wheels, it'll have a third option, this one comes with three standard. In, in this particular layout, it's great because you have one here in the main living area, another one back in the bedroom, and then another one with some ducts from the um, bedroom up front that run into the bathroom. So the entire coach is cooled. Each section of the RV basically has its own dedicated AC, which I think is phenomenal. Also, if you're doing some cold weather camping, just so you know, this one does have a fully enclosed insulated and heated underbelly. It has insulated valves and you get the 12 volt tank heaters. So you have a lot of options when uh, you know, you're talking about staying an extended period of time in here. You'll see the microwave, the cooktop that is recessed with storage down below, great storage all the way throughout, and you get the nice 16 cubic foot 12 volt refrigerator. So you'll see on the right hand side, here's the fridge, the left is the freezer. And because this is 12 volt, you can run this off your batteries. Again, this is really what I'd recommend using like that solar package because that way you'll keep that sucker topped off. Uh, which is wonderful. And then making our way to the back, as I said in the very beginning of this video, this is a bath and a half model. So you can see right here is that half bath. I, I really enjoy the fact that you have easy access from the bunk room, right? So whether it's kids staying back here, in-laws, friends, whatever it may be, you have that bathroom access plus a door right to the outside so you can come in, use it, and uh, head right back out. As far as the space itself, Fold down bunk up top. Now folks, this is gonna be a smaller bunk, right? I mean, this slide, I mean, I, you know, I, I can't even extend my arms all the way, so it'll be a little bit shorter. Uh, I think it's like 58 inches or something like that, so definitely built for kiddos, but I like the fact they included it rather than just having nothing. Uh, the sofa, however, is fantastic. This is what is called an easy, whoops, if I'm not throwing cushions, what they call an easy out sofa. Uh, not only is this sofa very durable, but it is fantastic when making it into a bed. Now this will come, I and mean, I'll have to move, but this just comes right on out. Take a look at this. Boop, just like that. You have this sofa in here, now you have a bed, super comfortable. As an adult, I mean, I can lay in here, you know, and I have plenty of space. This drops down and that prevents your pillow from sliding in there. How cool is that? How often have you had it where your pillow ends up falling down? I hate when that happens. So I, I really like that they put that in there. Um, definitely a pretty nice addition. And it is just as easy to make back up. You can see with like that spring assist, how easy this is to lift up and down. Super simple process. I really, really, really like uh, this sofa, folks. When, you know, for me, a lot of times because I see so many RVs, it's the little things. And when you're putting in nicer sofas like this, you're starting to pay attention to some of those things like the furniture. Uh, that's just a huge win in my book.
And of course, spot for a TV right there, storage underneath. This bunk I, I did lay in at six foot tall. It was slightly cramped. So maybe if you're like, you know, 5'10", something like that, it would work. The outside of the uh, sofa, the biggest bunk is going to be right up top here. And that is 72 inches long. So as you know, a six foot uh, person, I could sleep up there. USB ports, you have another smaller bunk over here. And as I mentioned, that AC directly above your head. Uh, and that's wonderful, right? Because that does a, a really nice job of making sure that room stays cool. I don't know about you, but as a kid camping, I always remember, you know, I would be roasting up in the top bunk. So having that AC back there is a huge win. And then as we make our way up into the bedroom, again, our third AC will be right up there. I did just want to show some of the controls that are located here. You have uh, your thermostat for this one. The other thermostat for the bunk room is in the bunk room. Max air fan, because we have one of those for our kitchen, is located here as well. Grab handle to walk up into the bathroom and bedroom. One of the things you'll notice is I can enter this bathroom and I don't have to play the game with the door because they utilize a pocket door. And as I take a seat here on the throne, what you'll notice, I have good leg, sp good leg space, good shoulder space. It's a porcelain bowl, so it's gonna stay looking nice for a long time to come. You get really big countertop. I, I really enjoy this. Uh, this portion, honestly, from like the, the kitchen on forward uh, is going to be very similar to one of their other real living floor plans. Uh, but I, and for good reason, they did an excellent job. Big kitchen countertop, good storage all the way around here. One piece residential fiberglass shower. Nice large skylight, lets in a lot of light, plus gives you that additional head height there. You have a seat, you get the big hand wand. Then as we, uh, a linen closet right here, by the way, that's important. And you'll see that it has dual entry. So, you know, if you have to get up and use the bathroom in the middle of the night, boom, you're just right in there, super simple. And you know, you know you're not gonna find a, a surprise guest in there because they have their own bathroom in the back. King size bed, love that. You have shelves on both sides there, windows on both sides, both of those do open. Really nice auxiliary light that isn't blue. Thank you, thank you so much. You'll also see that you have your third AC right up here as I mentioned, and you can see the duct work. You have four ducts in here, plus a straight run into the bathroom. I think you have an additional two in there, I believe. Uh, there one or two, I, I'm pretty sure it's two. Two extra ducts in there so that, um, that it keeps everything nice and cool. Um, and, and I like that, right? That was smart because if you put a direct vent right in here like you have in your main living space, that bathroom's gonna get really warm. They thought of that. As I mentioned, I really love that, how much thought they've put into this fifth wheel. You have a spot for your TV, big window, your uh, chest of drawers, your dresser right here. And again, thinking of things, Underneath the bed, look at that, super easy access, big, deep storage. Now they also utilize the space saver frame up front. And so even at uh, six foot tall, let me undo this travel lock. Even at six foot tall, I can walk all the way up here. In fact, I can actually take a step into uh, this wardrobe if I so choose. Big hanging rod there, shelf up top, plenty of wardrobe space. And if you want washer and dryer, you have space for a stackable right in here. If you don't, you get even more hanging space. So folks, if you're looking for a bunk model, this one right here is absolutely phenomenal. I love what they've done in the inside, but just wait till we take a look at the outside and talk a little bit, not of only how it looks, but how it's built. All right, now here on the outside, I always like to get a little bit into the construction of things because, well, yes, I absolutely want a beautiful RV and I want a floor plan that's gonna work for myself, my family, whatever my situation may be. I also wanna make sure that it's gonna last me for a while. And so Ahara definitely does a lot of things right when we talk about construction. One of the big ones, if you look down the side, you have this beautiful fiberglass side, but what you often don't get to see is what's behind that. Most manufacturers behind this fiberglass will use what's called Luon, which is a wood substrate. And Luon's great, it's what the industry's used forever, but it definitely has some flaws, some issues. And that's when Asdell Composite came in and really kind of took the cake. And a lot of manufacturers don't use Asdell, it's a little bit more expensive, but it has so many benefits for myself, I think it's 100% worth the cost. Like, for example, it's going to be stronger. It's going to be lighter. It doesn't absorb moisture. It won't absorb water. So it almost completely eliminates the chance for delamination, which are the bubbles you see along this side here. I mean, those things in its own right are definitely enough for me, but it also is gonna have better insulation. It's gonna be quieter inside. It's gonna be warmer inside. There's just so many things that Asdell does for you, but because it is so big on the fifth wheel, most manufacturers don't use it. We see it a lot in the travel trailers, like our higher end travel trailers, but not a lot of fifth wheel manufacturers use it. 
They did it on Ahara because they believe in building a quality product, and I love, love, love that they did it. Another thing I enjoy, when we were in the bedroom, you saw that storage underneath, and when you bring this slide in, actually the bed base stays where it's at, and one of the reasons they did this is because of this right here. The slide is nice and high, so if I come around here and I go to use my auto level, which does come standard on the Ahara, or get into my second 30-pound propane tank, or get into this side of my pass-through, I'm not worried about about hitting my head on the slide, knocking myself out. So I do enjoy the fact it's a lot higher. As I mentioned, your auto level controller is right there. Your propane here, you'll also see that there's slam latches on all the outside compartments. That's huge. So many manufacturers just use like these little twist thumb locks that to be honest, they, they tend to get stuck a lot. They break down over time. Uh, I love that they have slam latches on everything. Metal slam latches, mind you, like actual solid good components. And then right over here is your convenience center. You can see obviously your water hookups, winterization is there, battery disconnect, and as I mentioned, this one is four season capable, so all of your valves are insulated. That's going to be a big win right there. Let's head on back around to the campsite so we can check out some of the other features. Uh, but I do just wanna show you right up front, again, you can see how open that is, uh, how they did a really good job of kind of having everything over to the side. Excellent cable management, it is nice and clean. If you need to refill your uh, hydraulic fluid, which operates your jacks as well as your two main slides, it is very easy to access. And again, you can see your solar, control your solar charge controller right up there. As I said, that is that 50 amp MPPT. Then as we come around to the sidewall itself, again, there's a lot of things that I like. One is the fact that it is mostly white, which obviously will also aid in keeping things a little bit cooler. I also like the simplistic design. I think it's very clean. I really like what they've done. You're not getting a ton of like swoops and swirls and some of the things that we've seen in the past. It's just very clean, a lot more modern. Uh, you will notice two power awnings on the campsite, which gives you a ton of usable camp space. You know, that way you have all the shade right here. Both of those have LED lights on them as well. And even though they're not out currently, uh, I can say I've tested it. And even with both awnings out at six foot, I can walk underneath both of them. Don't have to worry about hitting my head. Uh, as I mentioned, you know, your other propane compartment will be right over here. And again, you have the metal slam latch, which I think is fantastic. We take a look at the pass-through. This one, because we don't have a slide up top, it allows us to put the magnets. We can put them all the way up, again, avoiding those head knockers. And you get a huge, huge storage space. The reason being, the reason you get such a big garage out here is because Ahara utilizes what is known as drop frame construction. Again, I talked about how good of a job they do when it comes to construction, and that is part of it. And if you're not familiar with what a drop frame is, I'll try to explain it to you the best I can really quickly. Essentially, uh, on a fifth wheel, you'll have a big I-beam that runs the entire length. With the drop frame, what they do is they run that I-beam, and then underneath that I-beam right here is the drop frame, where they actually weld another I-beam, mount that underneath it, and now, that main I-beam stopped here, you get that other one underneath, it still provides uh, the same amount of support and rigidity, but it gives you this much extra storage in your pass-through compartment. So that's why you'll see this in a lot of higher-end fifth wheels. It, again, is it inexpensive to do? No. Is it worth it? In my mind, 100%. I love having that much storage space. And with a big carrying capacity like you have on the Ahara, uh, again, that is uh, something that you can certainly utilize. You get the more ride step above steps, which are very solid. Uh, aluminum treads on there, so they're not gonna rust, plus the foldable grab handle right here. I personally do like the more ride steps a little bit above some of the others that are out in the industry. Uh, I just like the feel of it. They just feel like they're built a little bit better. Electrical outlet, in case you need to plug anything in out here. And if we drop down, a couple big things. We always talk about, you know, like a house and a foundation. And well, when you're talking about a fifth wheel, what's touching the ground? Uh, your wheels. So one of the things I like about this is the fact, well, I don't love the fact they're dirty. I probably should have cleaned those, but they are 14 ply G rated tires. So you have the heavier load tires on there, which again is part of the reason you can get more carrying capacity on this RV than some of the others. Plus you have the Dexter Gladiator axles, which uh, I believe there's 7,000 pound axles on there. So nice beefy axles. You get the wet shackles, you get the Moride CRE 3000 suspension system. I mean, they've done a lot when you're looking at the base of this RV. This is that secondary entrance into the bathroom. You get these standard fold-out fold steps. Again, aluminum treads on here, which I like. 
like. But this way you can just uh, go in, use the bathroom, come right back out without traips and dirt throughout the entire RV. I really like when manufacturers are able to do this. It's pretty common on a lot of travel trailers. Again, not something we see a ton on fifth wheels because most fifth wheels don't have a bath and a half floor plan. Whereas travel trailers, a lot of times that's where your bathroom's located. So I do enjoy the fact that we're able to get that ease of access on a fifth wheel. And then lastly, the outside kitchen. And man, oh man, is there a ton of kitchen space. Look at all of this storage you have up top. Uh, for myself, I personally love this because I have a pretty big bar that a lot of times I take with me when I go camping. So I love that I can have that up there. But even if not, you know, even if you're not a drinker, that's great. You have a plenty of room for cups, plates, bowls, whatever else you want to stuff out there. Food, maybe you want s'more fixings that are super easy to get to. You have it right here. Now the top one, you might need a step stool because we're in a fifth wheel. It is a little bit high, uh, but I love that you get that access. You also have a plumbed sink out here, good countertop space, electrical outlet, nice large refrigerator and you get this graystone cooktop right here. Now this is a griddle as you can see but you can take that off and there you have a grill. So you have a few options. Um, there's just some set screws. I've already taken them out. But they, there's four of them on here. You can remove those if you don't want the griddle, if you don't want the flat top, which I think is pretty cool. Now, this is pretty high, right? I've, I've had a lot of people say that, like, you know, how am I gonna cook? It, it's too high and I understand that. The cool thing about this though is, whoops, this whole thing comes right off. So you can take this whole thing off if you have like a smaller table or something or picnic table that you want to put it on, you can absolutely do that. Uh, so that whole thing is removable because I, I definitely understand where you're coming from there. Uh, also, I want to point out propane quick connect. Got to love that. So, you know, even if you don't want to use that cooktop, if you have another one, a favorite one that you want to bring, you can just plug it into that propane quick connect, you're good to go. You have a rear mounted ladder, 250 pound weight capacity, so you can can climb up on the fully walkable roof up there for any kind of maintenance. You will also see the two inch accessory hitch right back here, which is wonderful for bike racks or some other uh, items that you may need that receiver for. Now, no, you cannot tow anything with it, but the fact that you can use it for some of those accessories is wonderful. Folks, this right here is a fantastic family fifth wheel. It is the newest fifth wheel out from east to west Ahara and they do so many things right from design to features to construction. I know that a lot of people haven't heard of them because they're a new player in the space but I'm telling you if you're watching this you have to get out there and check them out. You will fall in love. If you're looking for price and availability on this 378 BHOK simply click on the link in the description. That wraps this one up though folks. Thanks again for watching. I'm Ian Baker and let's go camp.